Hi, Grade Sixes. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of an introduction to fables. Fables are one of my favorite stories and the ones that I'm sure you heard of me when you were small. And today we're going to listen to the story of the Nancy and the Moss Covered Rock. Listen carefully because there's some thing, activities that you're going to be doing afterwards. One day, Nancy was walking through the forest when he saw a strange moss covered rock. How interesting, said Nancy. Isn't this a strange moss-covered rock? Suddenly, kaboom! Everything went black and Anansi fell down fast asleep. When he woke up, Anansi wondered what had happened to him. I was walking along, he reminded himself. I saw this rock and I said to myself, isn't this a strange moss-covered rock? Kaboom! And Nancy fell down again and woke up about an hour later. Aha! I know what is happening, said Nancy to himself. This is a magic rock. And every time someone comes along and says the magic words, isn't this a strange... Hmm, 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 hmm. On they go. Ha! I know just how to use magic like this. So Anansi went on walking until he came to Tiger's house. Tiger was just about to sit down to eat. He had his food out on the table. Anansi was hungry, but was too lazy to go and find his own food. And so he said to the tiger, Tiger? just going out for a walk in the lovely cool jungle. Don't you want to come? <sighs> it's terribly hot today. All right, said the tiger, and the two animals went walking through the forest together. After a while, Anansi led Tiger to a certain place. Tiger, do you see what I see? Yes, Anansi, said the tiger. Isn't this a strange moss-covered rock? Kaboom! Down fell Tiger, and away ran Anansi to Tiger's house, where he made off with all of Tiger's food. Soon, Anansi was tricking all the animals in the forest. Whenever he was hungry, he persuaded an animal to go to the moss-covered rock. He got them to say the magic words, and, kaboom, they fell down, fast asleep. And Nancy helped himself to their food, some of it he ate, and some he stored away in his house. Now, and Nancy did not know that he was being watched by quiet little spotted deer. She hid in the forest and saw how Nancy tricked the animals. She decided to put a stop to his nonsense. She collected a basket of sweet coconuts and waited for a Nancy to come along and invite her for a cool walk in the forest. Of course, soon a Nancy led her to the strange moss-covered rock. What is this? said a Nancy, pretending to be puzzled by the rock. What is what? said Little Spotted Deer. This, said Anansi, pointing at the rock. Can't you see it? I can't see anything, said Little Spotted Deer. Surely you can see it, said Anansi, who was getting angry. Look, where I'm pointing. Oh, there's nothing there. Of course you can see it. You just don't want to see it. Say what? What am I supposed to say? Asked Little Spotted Deer. And Nancy shouted. You're supposed to say, Isn't this a strange moss-covered rock? Kaboom! Down fell Anansi.
little spotted deer ran to call the animals and they went straight to Anansi's house where they took back all the food that he'd stolen from them. Hey! Hey! Good listening. Now, there are some questions at the top of page 93 of your textbook. I would like you to answer them. And then I would like you to turn past the story to page 96 and answer the questions that you see there. All right. Good job.